Today I will be demonstrating how to use the software to easily take, edit, and share x-rays. To start, I'm on a new study page where you can input the patient ID, name, any other information such as the species and the breed of the patient. You can enter study notes about the patient and then select which images you would like to take. Once I'm ready, I press start and I can begin taking my x-rays. Once I've taken an image, I can edit it with the toolbar here on the side to add labels or to crop. I can also expand to find more tools in the sidebar here. And all of this is done on the same page. You don't need to save the image and then go back to edit. It can all be done at the same time, or you can continue taking x-rays and then go back at a later date to edit them. Once I'm done editing, I can switch to the full screen page right here at the top corner. And this takes away all of the sidebars to just give me the image. If I need to add additional images, I go to the second sidebar. And as I said, this is all on the same page. You don't need to exit out of your study to add anything. I can add additional views and I can also add dental x-rays. If I add a dental x-ray, the system automatically detects the dental sensor, so I do not need to do that manually. Once I'm done taking my images, I have many options. I can email them, export them, burn them onto a CD, or save them in a report. I can do this with one image, or I can select multiple images. To select multiple images, you select this multi-selection mode here at the top and select whichever images you'd like. To email, you add any text and you have five formats you can send. You can send one format or all of them. And as I said before, you can do selected images or all images. Here you can create a address book and add any frequent email addresses you'd like to send to. You can also export the images and this will save them onto any files on your computer. You can burn a CD and again any format that you'd like or you can create a report which will take the images you can add any study notes here in, the sec in this section, and then you can save them onto your computer, and this will save in a PDF format. If I'm working on this patient and I have an emergency come in, I can open emergency here at the bottom and take a quick x-ray, and then I can easily go back to the last patient with one click. Down here I have all of my open studies and I can toggle between them without having to close anything or save anything. Then I can go back and edit the image as I need to. If I have my emergency patient here and I need to go back and edit any information, I click edit here on the side and I can change anything about the patient that I need to and add study notes again. If I have accidentally selected the wrong patient to take images and I need to move them to a different patient, I can go up here to this collapsed menu and I can cut or copy the images. I can also paste images from other places on my computer. So if I select this image and I cut it, it takes that image from this patient and then I can paste it here with one click. This is very unique to this system. No other system has this. If I have some images that are emailed to me or brought in a CD form, I can put them on my computer 
and import them into the system. They can be any format and I can just select them from my computer and add them here. I can also copy any images from my computer and add them here as well and they will pop up so that I can compare them to the images I've taken today. This is easy to keep all of your images for each patient in one separate file so you don't have to find the date and which which images you're looking for. Once I'm all done, I click done here at the bottom corner and this completes the study. This will take me back to the main page where I can toggle between work list, which are my open studies, or completed, which are my completed studies. Here I can use the unique real-time search bar to type in my patient's name. And as I type, the patient will pop in pop up on the screen. From here, I can double click and reactivate the study.